Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on oliguria. For introduction of the terms, oliguria is described as less than 400 milliliters urine output per day in adults and less than 0.5 milliliter per kilogram per hour in children. Whereas another term in urea refers to urine output of less than 100 milliliters per day in adults. Oliguria is associated with causes that can be divided into pre-renal, renal, and post-renal causes. Pre-renal causes are dehydration, blood loss, sepsis, cardiac failure, burns, drugs, and anaphylaxis. Renal causes are acute tubular necrosis, drugs, toxins, glomerulonephritis, vascular cause like renal artery thrombosis, and interstitial nephritis. Whereas post-renal causes are bladder outlet obstruction due to stones or tumors, and bilateral uretic obstruction. For its mechanism, oliguria resulting from pre-renal causes is principally due to reduced renal perfusion. Adequate perfusion of the kidneys is reliant on fluid like blood, adequate pipes like veins and arteries, and an adequate pump, which is the heart. Problems with one or more of these three elements, such as dehydration, sepsis, or heart failure, results in under-perfusion of the kidneys. The kidneys are exquisitely sensitive to decreased circulating volume or flow, and have a number of compensatory mechanisms to activate, such as the renin-angiotensin II system, which ultimately results in retention of salt and water, and therefore less urine being passed. For renal causes, there is intrinsic renal impairment, causing oliguria that results from structural damage to the kidneys. If there is significant enough insult to the renal architecture, the kidneys cannot filter or function to produce urine. For post-renal causes, Obstruction of the ureters, bladder, or urethra will prevent urine from being passed. If this occurs for long enough, it can cause intrinsic damage to the kidneys, further affecting urine production. For its sign value, oliguria is an essential sign to be aware of, and can help guide therapy and also alert the clinician to developing pathology. That's all for this video. Thank you.